Hi everyone, welcome back. I have never met anyone who has never made a mistake. In fact, some of the most successful people that I've met in my life have been people who have made huge mistakes, but have got up, got going, and made a success of themselves. There's a good attitude that God wants us to have. That's the key, is that we need to be willing to get up and get going. Luke chapter 22, Jesus said to Peter that Satan has asked to sift you as wheat. He said, but I have prayed for you that your faith will not fail. And when you have returned, you will be a blessing. You will strengthen the brothers. You see, the Lord knew that Peter was going to deny him. The Lord knew that Peter was going to make a mistake. And when Peter made that mistake, the Lord did not condemn him, did not judge him, but the Lord prayed that Peter would have the faith to get up and get going. And that's exactly what happened. And as a result, Peter became a huge blessing to his brothers and to the church. But he could have sat back and felt sorry for himself. He could have said, oh, woe is me. Now what am I going to do? I feel so bad. I've made this mistake. I've denied my Lord. But he didn't. And there's something that needs to seize our heart. All of us, we all make mistakes. We make wrong choices, wrong decisions. We say things, we do things. But don't lie in the puddle. Get up. Don't wallow in the pity. Get up. Get going. Put your heart right before God and repent before God and say, Lord, forgive me for what I've done. If necessary, repent to your brother or your sister or your wife or whoever it is and say, well, forgive me for what I've done. Forgive me for what has taken place. But I don't want to stay down. I want to get up and get going. You know, King David is described in the book of Hebrews as a man of faith. And yet when you look at his life, you see a young man, when he got into conflict with Saul, he ran away, he hid in the mountains, he joined the enemy, the Philistines. Later on, he becomes king. And what happens? He falls into adultery. He commits murder. And you look at a man like this and you think, well, all these mistakes. And yet, David got up, got going. Why? He put his heart out, he found forgiveness in God, and he moved ahead. As Paul said, he put the things behind so that he could press on for what God had in front. Come on, guys. Don't stay where you are. There's so much more that God has for you. Let's get up. Let's get going.